Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, I've just been trying to set up this camera in like a decent spot for way too long right now. <laughs> so I'm excited. It actually finally it looks okay. That's great. Um, I have a Canon camera, but I just didn't feel like getting my tripod out of my car. So <laughs> here we are on the phone. Um, but yeah. Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Nova. Uh, welcome back if you guys have seen my other videos. Um, I just wanted to come on here today and make a video about this situation I had been in on one of my last road trips last year. Um, this was my second to last road trip before my surgery. Um, so I still had my dog at the time. Unfortunately, I had to rehome my dog to get my surgery because I just don't have any family, so I didn't have anybody to watch after him after, you know, surgery. So I'm not going to cry. I'm really not going to cry. I miss my dog so much, um, but he was a Boston Terrier too and like I'm an outdoors type person. and. Get down. Thank you. My cat is trying to knock over my setup. Um, but I'm an outdoors person and Boston Terriers really just can't handle the heat at all. Like it was like 85 degrees out in Illinois, which Illinois is freezing. Like it's literally 30 to degrees today. Um, but yeah, he literally, I walked him around the block for 15 minutes and it was like 80, 85 out. And I literally had to like run him back upstairs in front of the air conditioning because he just was acting like he was about to drop dead so <clears throat> i miss him like so much but at the same time like he's up in wisconsin now so it's even cooler of a climate up there um and yeah he's living a great life without me i'm not gonna cry though <laughs> i'm not gonna cry <laughs> um yeah so that was a huge detour to what I was saying. But so on this road trip, I had my dog, little George. That's his name, Georgie. Um, man, talking about him is actually making me about to cry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, all right, here we go. So I was taking a trip down to North Carolina, Craggy Pinnacle. So what I did was I went on Google Maps. I just needed to get out. Like Chicago sucks and I hate it. And I literally like flee from Chicago at any chance I can get. So I barely even planned this out. I just was like, I'm gonna, I need to go. I need to get out of here and see something else besides this place. Cause I hate it. Um, so I started going on my phone and I was on Google Maps and I was looking at all of the national parks and the, you know, like forest preserves all over the country looking to find like a good forest preserve to just go hang out at and see. And um, so I looked and looked and looked. There's a ton of ones that I liked, but they're like a little bit too far away. And I just couldn't drive for that long because of how bad my back was. So I finally pinpointed Craggy Pinnacle on Google Maps. <clears throat> and that's in the Blue Ridge Mountains um, in North Carolina and I was super stoked like it looks super nice I feel like this is a tilted OCD okay whatever um <laughs> so yeah um so yeah it looked super cool and I was like I'm just gonna go craggy pinnacle craggy pinnacle also just like super fun to say I feel like I just love that um so yeah so i packed my car up i think i think i only had like a thousand bucks saved up for this trip um but yeah like i paid all my bills so i had no worries and my car is relatively new so i just don't have to worry about that breaking down knock on wood um <laughs> So yeah, so I end up packing my car, packed up Georgie, my bubble, and we hit the road. And so in order to get down to North Carolina, I keep looking over here, I have a map. So um, that's not helpful to you. It's just helpful to me. But so anyway, in order to get down to North Carolina, you have to go through Indiana. So 
So I had got off work, I was working an eight hour shift, and then I, I went home, grabbed my dog, and my car was already packed, and then I hit the road. Um, because I can only take off, you know, you can only take off so many days, so I was just like, I'm just gonna go immediately after work. Um, so I started driving for like four hours-ish, and I had like this super weird, like, vertigo spell. And it was terrifying. Like, it was so scary. I was driving, probably going like 80 miles an hour on the highway in the left lane. There's all these cars around me. Um, and all of a sudden, like it just, the whole, everything was spinning around me and it was crazy. And I took my hands like off the steering wheel a little bit. I think, I think I took my hands, I, they either made a huge effort to not turn it or I took my hands off because I thought I was going to turn the steering wheel and I thought I was gonna crash into like other cars. I just remember just like drive straight, drive straight. Like don't, like like you might be spinning, but the car, you're still driving a car. Like it was so scary. And I felt like I was, I thought I was gonna pass out. Like it was spinning and I just felt like I was about to faint. And I've never felt like I was about to faint before. So it was really weird. And I had been eating, you know, the whole trip. Um, I still don't know what the heck that was. I have no idea. But um, yeah, it was super scary. So yeah, thankfully, right in, so as soon as I came to, I mean, it probably happened for a couple minutes at least. And it was just, it was just spinning like crazy. And then I was like, I'm gonna like kill me and my dog right now. Like this is, so, and somebody else maybe, like that's so scary. And so I finally like came to like I'm you know like you have to tough through that, that kind of situation you have to you have to tell yourself like hey like come on come on come on like snap out of it so I see that there's like a rest stop sign like pretty quickly so I you know still kind of a little bit dizzy and freaked out I just get into you know the right lane um and there was like a lot of cars around me like there we were all traveling together like all these cars so it was scary but yeah, I made it to the right lane, like, pretty immediately, there was just a rest, rest stop right there, and I was like, thank you, God. Like, seriously, that, it was, it was right next to a rest stop that this happened. Like, what a blessing, um, because if that happened and there was nothing nearby, like, I would have had to pull over on the side of the road and, like, recollect myself. So at that point, it was really dark, it was probably, like, midnight, if not later. So I decided I'm just going to go to sleep and sleep it off whatever that was <laughs> maybe i'm just really tired or something um so i take my dog out at the rest stop in indiana i think i think it was in indiana um like i didn't even know where i was which is the great like it's it's scary part i just knew i was on my way you know turn the gps off and was gonna park there for the night so i take my dog out and i'm wearing like these i wish i had them like right here I'm wearing like these rainbow, it's kind of like this, but they're like rainbow fuzzy pants. I was probably wearing like a tank top or a shirt, you know, like whatever. Just comfy, you know, clothes, road trip clothes. Um, but obviously like very feminine clothes. Um, yeah, so I take my dog out, um, grab little Georgie, the Boston Terrier, and I take him go potty, and then he's a he was a service dog, so I have panic disorder and PTSD, so he was my service dog. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, um, but it's it's kind of nice. Like I don't need that crutch, but he was definitely a crutch of mine because if I wanted to go anywhere, I like needed to take him with me. So now I don't have him to take with me, so I have to just go on my own. Um, Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> we'll be happy. Um, so yeah, so I take him to the rest stop with me. And since he's a service dog, he's allowed to go in the rest stop with me. Um, so I went to the washroom, brushed my teeth, you know, I'm getting situated. Maybe I didn't brush my teeth. Yeah, actually. Um, because then I went back to my car. I have, you know, the back seat laid out for car camping and, um, I go to the trunk, I grab a couple things, put a couple things back, grab his food, his water, fill up his water, feed him. I grabbed a can of chili and a, and a fork and, and dug into my dinner. Um, and I'm chilling in the back seat. 
And so when I took him out the first time, like when I took him potty, there was this guy and he was sitting in his car staring at me. Like just like this. This is all I could see. I mean, he was really far away, um, but all I see is a face looking directly my way. That's it, like while I'm taking my dog out. And I just remember looking at him like, like, cool. Like, thanks for staring at me, you know, like kind of annoyed. But yeah, so then I didn't really think much of it. I just thought like that, that guy's weird, you know? But anyway, and then so I got situated, you know, I'm getting comfy. I'm pretty sure I was laying down completely under the covers, got, got Georgie getting cuddled up next to me. And this car that the guy was in, oh my gosh, it's so scary. <laughs> it's so scary. Okay, so my car is right here, right? This is the curb. It's, it's at the curb, just facing that way, okay? So this car comes and he comes right behind me and he's facing my car with his headlights on, just facing me and kind of almost blocking me into my space. And I was like, what the what is happening what does he want i literally jumped from the back seat into the front seat i turned my car on like in a second and and just drove i drove i had to go so because he was here blocking me in a little bit i had to hop up on the curb a little bit turn around and i drove and i sat next to this semi truck guy and the semi truck it was yellow the lights are on thank god for him and he's you know obviously somebody's in the semi truck because it's on and sitting there so i drove right next to it so here's the semi truck and i drove and i parked right here right next to him and this crazy guy came up and blocked me in with his headlights facing me again so i took my phone out and i started recording and i was i was so scared i'm like what is happening right now i'm like thank god for this semi truck guy sitting here with his headlights on protecting me like my guardian angel right now i have no idea what this creep behind me is trying to do kidnap me murder me i have no clue like no idea but i'm terrified and whoo -wee. um if i can find those videos i started putting it on facebook i think uh i started recording facebook stories and putting it on there so if i can find those stories I will post them here, like right now. Ooh, sorry. Okay guys, so I got really dizzy all of a sudden and I pulled over to a rest stop that was thankfully right here. And, you know, I got situated. I was about to take a nap, um, got comfy, fed the dog, was about to eat some uh, This guy who was sitting in his car was like dead stare watching me, like super creepy. So I stared right back at him and, um, then I was just sitting there, I was about to get settled in, and he pulled he pulled away, pulled up right next to me, facing me, not even in a parking spot. His car was just facing me with their lights on. Super f creepy. So I my car was on because I had the heat going. So I jumped into the uh, the front, pulled up my car right next to this truck here that's running, and then there's also a truck here that's running. And and I pulled in and then I felt like he was going to block me into the parking space. So I half, half pulled out. I'm like half, I'm not even a, in a parking space right now. So then he sat his car next to me for a second. And then he went around the, the rest stop and now he's parked on the other side. And I'm like super freaked out. I'm shaking. Like I was tired and I, if he follows me to the next rest stop, like, whew, it sucks. This is so scary. I'm like shaking. How am I supposed to drive right now out of this rest stop when I'm tired and I'm shaking? I'm just gonna eat my can. I'm just gonna keep driving now. I'm <laughs> Pray for me. I'm on, I'm on Route 65 in Indiana somewhere. <sighs> Only in Indiana. All right. Okay guys, I made it to Louisville, Kentucky. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> like Candyman, super scary. Right there. So finally this guy 
like leaves like he drives away and i like so this rest stop was like in a giant circle so like parking space is all along the circle and in the middle is the the bathrooms and stuff so i th i was worried that he maybe just drove around and is sitting here waiting like on the other side and we're up here so i even i got out of my car and i like walked around kind of looking looking i didn't see any sign of any other car besides mine so i was like okay maybe he left <laughs> but at, at that time like i'm wide awake adrenaline is pumping through my veins like there's no way in hell i was going to sleep there at that point and i was so tired and i just had some crazy vertigo spell that i thought i was going to die like i thought i was going to faint and crash in other cars and i literally had no choice at that time um but to leave the semi truck guy left first like he probably was like what the fuck is happening i don't want any part of this and so he ended up like just hitting the road and then after that guy hit like the semi truck hit the road i'm like there's pretty much no one here at the rest stop and i didn't see that guy's car either but i was like i'm not i'm not gonna take any chances i'm just out of here so i hopped back on the highway and just kept driving i think i just kept driving for like maybe four more hours after that because i was so spooked and i'm like i'm getting far far away from here <laughs> like there's the and you know what like i mean he i always think back like it might you know i could have been overreacting and it could have been like he wanted to chat <laughs> or meet my dog or something. <laughs> but I don't think so. I mean, that's just really like a hopeful wishing at that point that there, that he wasn't a complete creep trying to like kidnap me and murder me in the bushes. That's like, I mean, who does, like who, who does that? <laughs> like, <laughs> it was so scary. Ah, it was so scary. I don't know. That's like one of the scariest, um, things I've experienced while being on the road and I know I see a lot of like people on YouTube talk about their experiences while they're living in van life and having like people follow them to their vans or you know steal stuff or try to break into their pickup trucks and stuff and it's like oh my gosh like I'm about to you know join the roadie life and actually just move into my car full time so that's like the main experience I've had just like as a car camper um on road trips that has been pretty terrifying there was another experience actually in indiana yeah it was in indiana <laughs> indiana is not the state to be in but this was like 2020 may 2020 that this one happened so two years ago um I had taken George to Pensacola and so we stopped someplace in Indiana to get gas because we were out or almost out and um, we stopped in this like sketchy town and it was like really small town in Indiana and um, as we started getting closer to town there was just like all these like drug drugged up people like just clearly on drugs and so we're pulling in we pulled into the gas station and I took I immediately lock the door when I leave my car like I just I used to live in the ghetto and like you just lock your stuff up but so I got out the car you know locked the door probably as I was stepping out of the car and I took George to the grass by the gas station to go potty and this couple who were like on drugs they came over to my car and tried to open it and I'm like standing right there watching them try to open my car. And then like they found, you know, they realized it's not gonna open so they just walked away. And I'm just like, what the heck? Like what is wrong with people? That's crazy to me, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of wackadoodles out there. Um, if you're thinking about taking a road trip or car camping or van lifing, um, just know that there's a lot of weirdos um i just ordered a couple a couple of things for my trip um that are going to make it a lot safer to travel alone and i can't wait to show you guys i'm about to do a video once all of my packages get here of an unboxing of all the camping essentials that you need as a car camper or a camper or just if you just 
want to know about it. I don't know. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to check that out, uh, it'll be posted probably, I want to say like Saturday, but don't hold me to that. We'll try. We'll try our best. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.